Hello, Manny here with All-in-One Devices, and in this video I'll be showing you how to downgrade the firmware of the Workforce 7710. So it's super easy to do, anyone can do it, only going to take a few minutes. So first off, why do you want to downgrade the firmware? Well, simply, you may have updated the firmware recently and you've noticed that your initial cartridges or your CISS chip won't work or uh, your refillable cartridges don't work anymore. And that's because Epson has pushed a new update to the printer and it will purposely no longer read those kind of cartridges. So after this downgrade, this will downgrade it to like a uh, 2018 firmware, it'll go back to reading those kind of cartridges. So let's begin. First off, you have your printer and you want to have it on. Let me close that up. You just want to have it on. This menu right here, this screen is fine. And you'll want to have your computer hooked up to the printer using a USB cable. You want to have, you want to have it connected to a USB cable. All right, so let me get that going. All right, so here I am with uh, the website pulled up that I have a link to in the description. And I have uh, my computer hooked up to the printer with the USB cable. So go ahead and look in the description, click on that link, and this is the page that will open up. Click on download. And I'll ask you to download this piece of software. Put it wherever you find it. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Zoom out here a little bit. And you'll see it's asking me if I want to keep it or discard it, I'm going to say keep. And now that it's done, I am going to open it. You may get this protect your PC. Click on more info and click on run anyway. Then it's going to ask you to install. Go ahead. All right, and once that's done, click on yes. Click on next. I agree. Next, next. And here the printer should show up now. Make sure there's a check mark and the USB connection. If you have other printers or other connections, ah, uh, there's the network, uncheck those. You only want this one checked, just the printer that we're working on, the 7710 and USB connection. That's the only one you want checked. Clicked on, click on start and yes to proceed. And you'll notice that it is updating. And this, this is going to go on for a couple of minutes, just like that. It'll stay on the screen for a few minutes until it finishes updating. So what we're waiting for here
zoom in here, is for this to say right here, to say that it's confirmed. And that, it, it won't say that until the printer restarts. Like I said, that's gonna take a couple minutes. And I believe it'll be in the, about the 80% mark when it's done. And you're probably thinking, why 80%, why not 100%? Well, I'll show you why, I'll show you what happens. So let's wait till this keeps going. It does take a couple minutes, so I won't bore you with it. We'll come back when it's done. All right, the printer is about to restart. There he is, you can hear it. It just restarted. And now we're waiting for this to say that it has confirmed. There it is, firmware version confirmed. We're, we're gonna do control alt delete to bring up the task manager. Click on task manager. There it is. You're gonna click on the Epson firmware updater and click on end task. That'll close out that window and that's it. The firmware has been downgraded on the, Ep on the Workforce 7710 and you're all done. Go ahead and try your uh, initial cartridges, your refillable cartridges, your CISS. It should all work now. Thanks a lot.